Hey, what's up guys? It is Kev5 here bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are going to be teaching you how to install World Edit and use it on your bucket Minecraft server. So it's very simple. All you have to do is log into your whatever your server thing is. I have a Multicraft server with GG servers. I also have one with um, MC Pro Hosting. Uh, but today we're going to be focusing on my new server because it's just it's much e easier to deal with there's no players on so what you're going to need to do is go to your FTP file access please go there nowhere else go there alright and type in whatever your password may be mine's a wonderfully long password so no one will ever guess it next you want to go to your plugins folder your plugins okay no one ever goes to their plugins folder. Everyone thinks that you just you hit upload here. No, if you if you upload it here, uh, you're gonna mess something up. So go to your plugins folder, please. And once you're there, as you can see, I already have World Edit installed. But if for you, the viewer, you would go to upload. You would download World Edit. So you'd hit the download button. Wait. You'd hit download again. It it'll you gotta wait for it to download because it'll take like a good five ten seconds usually and what I like to do and this is what why I love Windows 7 so much I can just 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 drag and drop usually but it's not there so we're gonna go to downloads and you can usually just drag and drop right there and you'd hit submit and it would install but you don't want to do that you actually want to drag and drop to there uh, because it's a dot zip it'll need to unpack itself from the dot zip so you would put it in the archives to upload and unpack therefore unpacking the dot zip getting the jar file out so once that's done you know I mean you're pretty much set you just gotta restart your server very simple I'm not gonna restart it because it's just gonna take a little too much time but you'd hit restart uh, wait for it to load, finish, and stuff, and you're done. Uh, and I also, I highly recommend this server. I will put a link to the affiliates program for me in there. Um, you know, signing up, it doesn't get me much. It doesn't really get me any money at all. It help, it'll help the server run just a little bit. But right now, I am paying $2.70 for a 1 gigabyte server and that's it's like six dollars for two gigabytes and as you can see i'm not using any memory so it's really good so once you've all got world edit installed restarted your server you, now you have the ability to use a lot of different things first off you're going to see this in my hand it's called it's a wooden axe uh let me just throw that away and show you how you do it you do slash slash one and it'll give me this and as you can see mine reset yes i'm trying to make a prison server <laughs> just ignore it so anyway, time to teach you how to use Word Edit and hopefully not crash my server at the same time. I don't think I should. I don't got too many plugins going on for me right now. So if you do slash World Edit Help, which is W E Help, you're gonna see a ton of commands you can do now. A big ton. You can do things like bio and biome info, uh, which will tell you what biome this is in. Like for example, if I do this and do it it'll tell me it's the plains biome and it's a flat world so this entire flat world is a plains biome so it's pretty cool uh, you can do things like let's do it let's do an H spear we'll make it out of glass and we'll make it four see as you can see it made a glass spear around me and I made a hollow spear specifically because I don't want to be trapped trapped in the middle of it but if I were to do that I can hear I can do this and therefore I am actually trapped in it how do I get out I would do slash top and then I can do slash undo slash undo it will get rid of it I can also do cylinders so say I wanted to do an H cylinder of glass that was uh, and we can do more than glass let's do a stone one that's five it will make a stone one and you can also add length to it by doing this so let me do slash undo first uh, if you want to add length to it, I can do like 10. And it'll go 10 up from where I am standing. So that's pretty neat. So you can undo that. Uh, let's look at some other commands. Uh, what did it help? There is a lot we can do. Slash slash pyramid. I've, I've never actually tried pyramid. So let's try pyramid. 
Let's do it at a diamond. Um, and we'll make it 10. And we'll go top. So it actually does. That's awesome. You can make pyramids with this too. Uh, that was one thing I didn't. There was some world edit commands I've never used before. I, I guess let's try walls. Walls sounds really cool. Walls. Black stone. Uh-oh. This? Oh. What? Oh, no way. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't even know this, but I guess uh, if I were to build up and I were to build this, and this is really useful for building. I didn't even know this. If you select the top and bottom of a selected cuboid and were to do wall stone, it'll make walls for you, literally. That is so cool. And if you want you know, undo, it'll undo everything that you've done. Obviously, it's not going to undo that because it doesn't want to. Uh, but let's ignore that. Uh, take note, though. World Edit, do not abuse its power. Uh, it, do not create a spear that is over, I think, like 20 or 30 size that is sand. It will destroy your server. Not joking. It will cause an infinite like reaction. So if you do slash slash snow, uh, pretty obvious. Makes the area around you snow. Uh, if you want to do things like you can copy and paste say I want to do I you know a little thing like this select it do slash slash walls stone and say I want to then do slash copy so slash slash copy and then slash slash paste it'll copy and paste the same exact thing so that's really cool um just take note though wherever you copy it that's going to be relevant to where it paste. So if you copy it here, and say I were to stand here, it would paste the block in front of you as seen there. Uh, another thing you can rotate. So let's do the rotate, and we want to rotate it 90. So therefore, it'll paste one block in front of us from here, as you can see there. Uh, really cool. Yeah, I'm not going to do too much of this world edit crap. I don't want to ru ruin anything, but um. There's a lot of stuff, I guess, um, slash slash tree, uh, I guess, I think I can, oh, uh, I can bind it to a tool, so say I want to do, uh, sword, and I wanted to bind slash tree to it, you do that, and bam, and I think I can undo that too, um, I forget what it is though, so, um, I'll worry about that in another time, but for right now, let's do... I, I haven't tried some of these. What's a cycler? Uh, I'm kind of scared. Oh, okay, that does nothing. So basically, I showed you a lot. That's a lot of the building commands, really. Uh, you can also set the biome. So if you want to set the biome, you can set it to, depending on the region, you have to select an area first and you can set the biome. So say I wanted this to be a, a forest biome. I can do slash slash expand vert vert I can do set biome and I can make it forest and therefore I just changed this entire spot right here to a forest biome now as you can see uh, let me go into F3 if you look up there in the top left corner you should see plans now watch this when I go and enter this it doesn't change okay I have no clue how that works honestly but um, flash world edit world edit help so pretty much I've, I've told you a lot of the building commands like I've said I've showed you some of the more important commands there's a lot more there's like brush seal center as you can see all this stuff uh, you can experiment with this stuff be careful though do not go crazy with this okay do not go crazy because uh, bad things will happen if you go crazy with it okay just just saying but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I helped you learn world edit uh, let me do slash spawn. I wanted to show you guys also a little preview for this video, the prison server I'm working on. So I might as well show you that preview while I'm in here. So let me just do F3 to get out of that. So in uh, my prison server, I'm going to be having contraband rules. Um, I also have warps started. Uh, I'll show you that warp. It's a little secret. I'll show that. I might show you that here now. 
um, and all 25 ranks. Last rank is Death Row. I know most prison servers, their whole idea of um, the thing is to you want to escape, you want to become a free man in the prison. I think it would be better to work your way into the worst part of the prison. Starting at number one, you're like a you're a new prisoner there. You just got there, uh, and and as you work your way up, you know that's like a like the rank two is because you insult you uh, assaulted a guard or something. You know you don't actually rank up like that. It actually costs money, but I, I'm just saying that would be. I think it's cooler to work your way to you know worst into the prison rather than try to work yourself out. Uh, here is the room where the cells are going to be. You can purchase, um, you can rent a cell and use it uh, as your own personal, like, furnace place. You can also use this prison room. You step on this, close the door, uh, wait for it to open. Uh, enter chests everywhere because that's important. You're going to need to do that. Fancy glass ceiling work. Yeah. Um, here is the PvP area. I know I just went through it. Uh, it is pretty neat. Uh, if you want to, I'll go up here. Alright, and this is like the battle tower area. Kind of cool. I uh, same, I already showed you that. Uh, right here is, it's like a, the shop slash jail slash um, newsroom. Uh, this is just a simplified shop. The warps themselves actually have shops. This is just a simple shop for the most basic of beginner items. Uh, and somewhat advanced, like rank 10 stuff, but... I uh, will get with on that another time. Uh, balance, uh, as you can see, I have ninety-eight thousand dollars. Cheated a little bit. Um, here is the drugs area right here. As you can see, um, yeah, yeah, I've been going creative with this. Uh, here is the prison itself with its. It's got lots of beds with its own custom-made toilet. Pretty neat. Uh, and here is the news area as you can see skilled prison updates and skilled prison events now it's time to show you the main event um, this is something I made myself I didn't copy the design from anyone um, that's probably why it's gonna not look that good uh, but as you can see you spawn here I don't mind that you can see over the wall as long as you can't get over it and that's only for this side uh, so you start off on the bridge as you can see, I made this cool like skull design. I know it's, I guess it's it's kind of weak and corny looking, but uh, here is the mine itself, the first one. I've only been able to make one so far, but anyway, I so say I want to. Am I op? I I think I'm op, but uh. Oh, uh, I have cycler on, so let me. Yeah, um, those like I said, don't let certain commands you don't want to do. So yeah, don't don't do them. Cycler. Uh, I. Anyway, let's just go with this. Uh, let's break some blocks, and stuff, and we'll just reset it. I'm uh, going to be doing a tutorial on mine reset soon, hopefully. So uh, that should be pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, as you can see now, if I do slash mine, I mine. I think it's mine info one. Yeah, uh, it'll tell me when my next reset is, which is in a minute and 30 seconds. Uh, let's just do mine reset one. And as you can see, it'll reset and randomize the blocks. Really cool. Uh, so like I said, I'll be doing a tutorial next video on how to do the prison server stuff. Uh, just a few of the things. I'm still getting the hang of uh, rank up. Rank up is kind of a fun command to learn. But uh, like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. And as always, have a nice day.